back into another episode of the Bet on Me podcast. It is Friday, July 1st, guys. We're heading into that holiday weekend, July 4th coming up. And guys, I am just as excited as everyone else about everything that's going on in the NBA offseason with all these trades. This is absolutely insane, guys. Um, of course, we're going to adjust the mic a little bit here. As we always do when we start the show, we don't want to we don't want to cover up Kobe though. Let's make sure we're not covering up Kobe. Let's just move the, move the camera. Good. I, can't, I can't. I'm sorry, guys. I can't cover up Kobe. Anyway, I'm going to make sure you guys can hear me, but don't want to cover up Kobe. All right, I might have to cover up Kobe. It's okay. We're covering up Kobe. Much love, Kobe. Anyway, <clears throat> for those of you that are listening to the podcast and can't see it, I've got a bookshelf. It's a, a new setup here uh, for the podcast. I was wanting to do this the other day. But, you know, augmentation, man, I'm telling you. Anyway, uh, got a bookshelf behind me with a bunch of stuff. Got a bunch of stuff on this bookshelf behind me. It's pretty cool. I uh, got the Pokeball over here. Got Max Rebo up there. Uh, we got the, uh, the Mushroom from Mario, you know, as well as the uh, Nashville uh, Hard Rock Cafe lighter up there. Got a lot of things. Uh, got my dog over here. Rest in peace. Got the Dentine Sticks. We're going to throw those down there on the shelf real quick down there gotta love the podcast guys anyway you know it's what is it? it's july 1st it's the middle of the off season for everything we've got baseball going on and i'm gonna be honest with you guys uh, probably not gonna bet much more baseball i've been losing everything i've been throwing at baseball and it's just not my sport i stick to football because that's what i went at that's one of the most profitable at i can you know i could even show stats from these websites that i bet on that you know i'm actually profitable during football season and um actually now's a good time to shout out capratech because this season uh when it rolls up football season in what is it like 68 69 days it's something like that uh we're really close to football so um once that rolls around over on capratech where i list all my picks where you can get all your picks you can go over there register log in you can buy picks you can register as a capper. You can sell your picks. They have everything you need in one convenient spot, guys, over at Capper Tech. They have, uh, they have all kinds of tools. They have betting trends, a trend finder, so you can find the trends for what you're, look, you're actually looking for and compare the trends on the teams. Uh, they have a game simulator, which I absolutely love. Uh, you can go on there and buy picks. They have a directory where every single capper in the world that is connected to Capper Tech is on this directory guys you can get it all there they also have uh connections to podcasts links to all those podcasts they got docs daily picks guys they have all kinds of things available over here on this website and i'm not just shouting them out because i love their website and you can also catch my podcast over there in the game cap census uh, area of the capper tech website but I'm saying you want to keep up this season when it comes to football because I'm going to back up what I say when it comes to football, guys. I can gamble some pigskin. You know what I'm saying? And I'm ready to put my money where my mouth is. Uh, so I'm going to do some kind of giveaway. I know I talked about one uh, a few months back, but definitely during football season, we're going to do some giveaways. We're going to get some things rolling so you know, be ready for that, guys. I know right now not a lot of people are listening to things. Not a lot of people are watching TV. Not a lot of people are watching sports. People are outside. It's a holiday weekend. You should be. You should be out on the water. You should be with family. You should be wherever it is, friends, if that's your family, because sometimes, you know, blood's not thicker than water. Water's thicker than blood, and I understand that, guys. But we're going to go ahead and jump right into craziness going on with uh, Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. Kyrie Irving says he wants to opt in. Ben Simmons posts a pic on uh, his social media talking about he feels great. Next thing you know, KD requests a trade. Now everyone's talking about KD and Kyrie going to the Lakers. I mean, is this insane? Am I the only one that's going to say it? Steph Curry is the last superstar. And what I mean by that is you know, like the last action hero, Steph Curry is the last basketball superstar, meaning 
Steph Curry won tie, and I don't give a damn. Everyone, all these titles, LeBron has won, where P- he's not played. He's played teams that have limped in there, and he's won. And people count those rings. You know that's fine. But if S- Steph goes up, the Boston Celtics are a good damn team. They're just not there yet. Okay, Steph Curry took a team with Draymond Green, Clay Thompson with half a leg. Jordan Poole, and don't say Jordan Poole is all that great. I watched the whole season. Jordan Poole is a good player, but there's a lot of times that he did shit that just had Clay shaking his head. Like, just, you know, this was a learning process for everybody. Clay coming back, Poole playing with him, Curry. What did Curry do? Curry played like he always does. It literally reminded me of that man, Kobe Bryant. He came out no matter what the situation He played his game, and he balled out. Some games he didn't play good, and that's fine. Sometimes you're going to come out after dropping, you know, 30 points every game for the past 10 games, and you're going to have a game where you don't play that well. It's just going to happen. You exert a lot of energy. It's hard. But then when you come back and you feel good, you're going to – anyway, guys, I'm just saying, Steph Curry is the last great superstar because – He's not trying to team up with LeBron. He's not trying to play with KD. He's not trying to go to Miami. He's not trying to go and play with um, Chris Paul and DeAndre Ayton. And uh, who else is it? It's uh, Devin Booker. Devin Booker just got a uh, a, a, a a four-year, $224 million deal. So I I really don't think they're going to be going to Phoenix. I know a lot of people said that they're going to be going – to uh, Miami and then everybody's talking about they're going to be going to LA now let's let me say this this is what I think is so funny so this is why I think Steph Curry is the last real NBA superstar because you've got Kevin Durant Kyrie Irving and LeBron James this is all in talks you know for sure that people are saying everyone's saying that Kyrie wants to go play with LeBron all this is going on so these guys can beat Steph Curry with Draymond Green and Klay Thompson on half a leg. And we say Steph is not one of the greatest of all time. Everybody says, oh, he's top 10. He's top, he's top 10? Are you serious? He's got, he's got just as many championships as LeBron. You trying to say the KD rings don't matter? Okay. You know how many rings don't matter with LeBron then? Like, what are we doing? Ah, anyway, look, I'm not much for hot takes, but I know there's just a bunch of things going on. Uh, you know, uh, Carl Anthony Towns resigned four years, 224 million. Uh, Memphis Grizzlies resigned Ja Morant, sorry. Uh, ja Morant, five years, 193 million. Uh, I think that's a rookie contract. I'm pretty sure, yeah, the Denver Nuggets resigned. Um, Jokic, uh, 27 million for five years. So he's staying there. Let's see. What else do we got? Five year, two million, two, $215 million deal. I'm getting text. $215 million deal, five years, uh, for Zach Levine to stay with the Bulls. And of course, you know, Steph's not going nowhere. Let's see. Here's some other notables. Jalen Brunson did a deal uh, four years, $104 million with the Knicks. And we've got a few more. Hold on. What do we got here? What do we got here? Lou Dort is staying with OKC. Five years, $87.5 million. And the Washington uh, – Bill is uh, – they say Bill's staying, but I thought he requested a trade. So, Bill, yeah, it looks like Bill's staying there. 25 years, $251 million. So, Bradley Bill, it looks right now, is going to be staying in Washington, and I hope they get him some, him some help. I know that John Wall was wanting to go somewhere. Let's see here. Oh, nope. Adrian Wojnarowski is tweeting right now as we speak. Atlanta is trading Kevin Herter to Sacramento for Justin Holiday, Mo Harkless, and a future first-round pick. So Atlanta's making some trades. The Kings are sending a 20, 2024 lottery pick, lottery protected first round pick to the Hawks. 
for Herter, and the pick becomes the top 12 protected in 2025 and top 10 protected in 2026. So the Kings are getting better. They got Monk and they got Herter. And let's see here. They've got yeah, Sabonis and Fox. So they def the Kings are definitely getting better. I remember the Kings back when they had Mike Bibby and Chris Weber played on them, but I'm old and dirt. You can see this right here. Anyway, guys, uh, you know, we've got some baseball going on today, but like I said, I'm not even gonna like waste your time. If you guys want to see all my picks, you can go over to Capper Tech. That link is down below in the description, guys. You can see all the picks there. Uh, we shouted out Capper Tech earlier in the show. Just shouting them out again because that's where you can find all my picks. You can keep up with all of them. I will give out some baseball picks, but during the off season like this, I'm not going to be doing picks on the show, guys. So it's just going to be a lot of banter, and I hope that's okay. We had Chris on the show the other day. I know I keep saying I'm trying to get other people on the show, but I always have technical difficulties with, you know, what's going on. I swear one day I was going to have somebody on the show and the power was out all day. So, and just the other day, the AC uh, was out all day here and it was just absolutely miserable. So we've been having a lot of issues with the power grid in the uh, small Tennessee town that I live in. Uh, they, they told us we would, but you know, it is what it is. And I'm not trying to make excuses I'm just saying uh, sometimes if you don't see the podcast come out till later, that's that's really what it is. I mean, sometimes we don't have power for half the day and it it's it doesn't make any sense, uh, but it is what it is. You know, I think that's a thing that they said the infrastructure of America is old and we'd be dealing with a lot of blackouts this year. So that's great. Anyway, we've experienced one. Uh, I think it was what a few days ago. And then what did the, the power? I know the power was out a few times the week before and the week the week before it was out and then the week after that was out and i'm pretty sure it was out but i know our ac was out uh and that was miserable i can't remember the day the day the, the day the ac was out it was a whole day and you talking about sleeping oh man because i grew up in houses with no ac you know i'm i i was born in 86 so i grew up um living in a few houses that didn't have ac we had the box fans in the windows and man Boy, did that remind me of that, and it was miserable, and I don't want to go back to that. Thankfully, they came out and fixed it, and yeah, shout out to those AC guys for coming out here and fixing that stuff, man. Anyway, yeah, that's the type of stuff you're going to hear on the podcast, guys, uh, for the time being. I mean, uh, you know, um, just until football season ramps back up, we're going to start uh, talking more about football as it, like, rolls around, but right now we had some crazy trades in the nba offseason so we're gonna you know we're gonna talk about like just the latest news that's going on i'm gonna ramble on about things like the ac and the power going out you know just stuff like that guys until football gets back we're gonna be uh making sure that we're staying on top of spring training and yeah we are here in east tennessee so we're gonna try to cover the vols as best as we can and you know uh, i hear they got an eight million dollar quarterback up there that's uh that's pretty good. So we're going to see about the Vols this year. I think that they have a good opportunity as any to, you know, get to the, uh, to the playoff this year. I really do. And the reason I say that is because now with this, now with these NIL deals, I know the other day I said, I really don't know about paying these guys until, you know, you get them in the situation and see what they can do. But at the same time, if you can get good talent in because you're able to pay them, I mean, that, that would, that would help a lot of schools out. You got to think about that. Mike, you know, the university of Tennessee up there in Knoxville, that is one of those schools that it could help out a lot that if these, these, uh, these backers um, boosters, as they're called, if these boosters can get up in there and, you know, they can pay these, they can help pay these quarterbacks, and, you know, because, you know, the other day, the the take I looked, the, the angle I took was, you know, we're paying people and we don't even know if they're good yet. But from the other side of that, we're being able to pay people to come play. So, you know, it just scares me because it is it's a new thing and it's an amateur and we don't you don't really know because you don't really have a track record to go off of these guys playing uh at the next level because you know in, in 
like the other day I said, in high school, you're playing against people you're way faster than. Then you get to college and it kind of levels out. Then you get to the NFL and you find out, you know, and same with the NBA, you get to that level and you find out real quick if you belong there. And uh, yeah, I, I just hope it, I just hope that this helps teams because honestly, I'm tired of seeing Alabama every year. Uh, you know, they're, they're right down the road. I'm tired of seeing them every year. I'm tired of seeing, you know, Dabo Sweeney up there talking about, yeah, let's get us one, boys. We're, we, hey, we just a small, we just a small town over here. Just, a, you know, I'm just a humble coach living in my, you know, $10 million a year, you know, my $10 million mansion on campus over here that, that the that the school gave me. And, you know, I just, I really appreciate everything everybody does. You know, I had Deshaun Watson, you know, I had, I had that, I had that one kid that went down there and, uh, uh, played for the coach that put the finger in the butt and all that man it's you know if you like Dabo Sweeney that's cool but I'm not I'm not a big Clemson football fan I was a Clemson basketball fan at one point a long time ago but that that was that was just for a few seasons anyway guys um rambling on loving summertime there's a lot of moves being made uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of moves made when the NFL comes back uh, or starts to come back. You know, you're going to see a lot of these players. I know Antonio Brown said, you know, you ain't uh, said something. I forget what it was. Like you're playing yourself. If you think he's playing, you're playing yourself. You know, you're playing yourself. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. He might, he might come back. He might not. A lot of these dudes are getting into other things. And that's, I think that's really cool. I think it's awesome because that's the mindset that, you know, I kind of have too. It's like, don't just, don't just do one thing, go out there and do a bunch of things. And I know a few of those players are playing in the uh, AFL, the American football league. And I've seen that the XFL is actually going to kick off. I saw the rock uh, doing some stuff out there with those guys. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the XFL uh, does very well or not, but I know that it's, it's, for me, I think it's great because it gives guys an opportunity. And, and why can't it make it? You know, all these people out here that want to diss the XFL and say that it's garbage and it's trash. We already watch call. I mean, have you watched some of these Thursday night college football games where these amateur players that are now going to be paid to play? Some of these schools are going to be paying some of these kids to, to play. They're not very great. I mean, they're good. But it's not the same level as the NFL. So what's wrong with having another amateur league? What's wrong if a bunch of people want to buy an amateur league? Just like that live league over there, that L, uh, LIV. Apparently, that's a Roman numeral for like 52. Or I, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. If I'm wrong, that's fine. Put it in the comments. Um, but yeah, you know, why can't, why can't other people? Why is it just the colleges? Why is it, just, you know, it doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. It's like it's like these guys are like only we are allowed to do this, not you. It doesn't work like that. If other people want to come in and, and start a business and do something, they can. The big three is great. Have you watched the big three? It's very entertaining. It's all NBA players that could realistically still be playing in the NBA. And some of them should be playing in the NBA, but you know. It's a half court game. I know the NBA is a full court game, and that's that's what kind of gets people after a while. It's hard to run up and down that court, but there's a lot of other sports out there you could be watching. And I just think that the XFL is one of those sports you can watch. I know people say it's hard to watch, but you know, if you're a fan of football, and I think we actually give the league a chance, and that's that's my point on this. The XFL needs more than one damn season. They need they need at least five years. Give them five years, like five good years. Let them draft, let them recruit, let them be on TV, let them you know let them market, let them go through. If if they lose money and the backers want to pay the difference to keep it going, great. You know whatever you got to do. I just it's just like NFL quarterbacks. One comes in after a season. Oh well, he's terrible. I, the guy. Just, Give him a chance. Work with him. See what can happen. The NFL should work with the XFL. I don't understand. You know, that could be like a G League of the NFL, you know, instead of having, you know, because you already got college. NBA has college and they have G League. Why can't the NFL have a G League and let the XFL be that? Maybe that's been talked about before. Maybe I'm ripping somebody else's takeoff. I don't know. 
Guys, all I know is this show is over. It is 1.30 on a Friday, and I am going to get out here and go outside and jump in the pool with my family, my wife, and my kids because it's a great day. It's beautiful outside. It's like, you know, 84 degrees. Uh, the clouds are out. You know, it's July 1st. Uh, Monday, of course, is the holiday. We'll be back on Monday with another episode of the Bet On Me podcast, and eventually... I will have some guests and get things going, but for now, we're just going to keep chugging along the podcast that is just absolutely awful, and we're going to try to get better, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Everybody out there that does, I really appreciate it, guys. You can download on Apple. You can listen to us on YouTube. All those links are down below in the description. Don't forget to go check out Capper Tech. That's where you can get all my picks I do bet on, on MLB a little bit, and you can get those picks over on Capper Tech. That description is down below, or that link is down below in the description, guys. It's a beautiful day outside. Make sure you're getting these bets in on these games tonight, and make sure that you get outside and you're having a great holiday weekend. Guys, happy 4th of July weekend. We will see you on the 4th on Monday. <laughs>